what should you like in a four bedroom apartment a large living area check spacious balcony check spacious kitchen with a kitchen island check wait all bathrooms so all on suite five bathrooms check one guest room at the esky if you'd like it to be check a spacious main bedroom when can have your tv oh and you can have a balcony so check so four bedrooms with two balconies the bathroom jacuzzi separate from the shower cubicle check all that in this four bedroom apartment see you as we tour the video together a four bedroom five bathrooms one guest room lovington nairobi kenya hello everybody my name is beatrice from bali's properties today we will be touring this four bedroom apartment in lovington nairobi kenya 246 square meter 25.5 million kenya shillings four bedrooms five bathrooms one guest room let's get right into it so this is our main door this is how you come into the apartment we have a security door here you access it through a passcode a thumbprint or a card it has locks on the at the top at the side and at the bottom once you get in you note that you have this cute little space that let me not say little because it's actually quite a sizable space so you have this space where you can number one use it to have your decor display so as this has been done um we have a console table here with a bit of wall art and plants around it you can choose to have it as is or you can have it as a library and just a small library set up a seat and a side table so you can have you can read the newspaper from here you can read a novel from here it gives you some sort of privacy when you get into their home sometimes your person your someone's coming to drop off something to you and it's awkward they're outside you may be using mobile money you're using cash you know exchange of money so yeah welcome them in they don't need to be in your space really welcome them in do what you have to do they leave again it's a space that you can set up shoe racks sometimes you have visitors and you know this and there's a dozen pairs outside no shade this time you can have your shoe rack put all your shoes your visitors shoes your shoes there coat hanger if you'd like as well add that on and voila you have some space there you can have and then once you get in so you have two sides you have your living space and you have your dining i'll just get into the living room to show you the kind of space that is there this is an eight seater and i am moving around very well so a 10 seater can fit very well you, at the end of the side of the other side of the living room is a wall that has been decorated but you can choose to have that inclusive of your seating area and have a very nice sit, sit, sitting area or you can leave as is have maybe a cabinet for example and have your display there you can have it as is as well have a console table put on your accents and leave that as a decor area this is where we put a tv i mean this it's sort of an informal living area the space is so big you can actually partition not partitioning not by wall or anything no by setting up a formal and an informal living room there is space for that to kind of have two living spaces um once you once you get in the living room you note there are huge windows i like to call them windows because they are also they serve as a windows and access door to your balcony there's a special balcony i'll get right into that so these are mainly for organic lighting i mean they look nice they are french doors um but mostly for organic lighting we are so 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 big let me emphasize that on organic lighting so natural lighting is important makes there's a way you just feel in your home when you have nice organic lighting and then this is your balcony the balcony is big guys it's it's one of let me say one of the big balconies 
in Nairobi right now. Balconies are not given this much space. And you know, there are people who say, we want a bigger living room. We want maybe a bigger balcony. This is sufficient. When you enter this apartment, you appreciate the space in the living room and you appreciate the space in the balcony. Nothing was cut short. So the balcony has a plant, sort of a garden decor for you. These are live plants, by the way. And you can have this in your balcony as well. So this is an inspo for you to show you, even in an apartment on the 14th, 15th floor, you can have an obstructed views, meaning you have natural views and you can bring your garden in your apartment. Um, you can set up, you can set up um, sitting here where you can enjoy your morning tea, your evening um, drink. You have an obstructed views. You can't see that very well because of the cover up right now. There's a huge tree here, which, you know, makes you just appreciate nature. Prop this property will be completed in four months. So we're still doing final touches. That's why you can see there's still a bit of construction going. going. However, it's a beautiful, beautiful view. Um, the dining room is our next stop. So in the dining space, we have a six, an eight-seater. We, no, we've set up a six-seater rather. However, an eight-seater can fit and even a ten-seater. The seats here are slightly bulkier, so they are beautiful, they are modern, they have this nice curvy finish. You can have um, such, so with such a six is good because then you don't feel too squeezed. But it can easily fit an eight and even a ten. There's space for that. You can see there's plenty of space. Let me just talk about the overhead light, the gypsums, and these fancy light fixtures you're seeing here. Beautiful. So they, they, they are a match with the living area. It's that the living ones are more, what do I say, more circular, and this one is more horizontal. Yeah. And um, the dining connects to the kitchen. So I love that. It's a buffet table setup. It usually doesn't seem important until you have visitors and you're all serving and the dining table is so full, guys. And it's not that you're many, it's everything on the table. So that this kind of space honestly relieves that. I always say if you have space to put a buffet table, please put. And if you've been blessed to have a space like this where someone has just provided, sort of defined a buffet table for you, use it you can use it as an island i'll get to that we have a space for that you can use it to have your your you know your entertaining as well and but i think mostly day to day this can be used as a buffet table very well so this is a kitchen we're going to the kitchen next you place your pots here and your pans as you eat you note that we have set up tables here we have set up chairs here so this is where breakfast can happen if you want to have quick breakies this is a spot. We have elevated it from the kitchen counters. You know, so it serves as a, it actually serves as an island very well. You can sit here and cook while you have your family here, while you have your guests here, um, while you have your breakfast the day to day again. As I always say, you know, an apartment, as much as you want that hotel feel, you also want to have that warm feeling a cozy feeling in your home we tried to put that we have modern cabinets right here they are jpo but jpo i mean you don't have locks you pull from here from beneath and you pull so these are jpo and they are soft closes and see that's really soft closes and we have a double sink here another thing i need to mention the worktop i feel like the worktop is big it's nicely you have a lot of space to work in the kitchen you know, when you're having a cooker right here this is where you have that um you will note that the extractor comes in with the home and the four banner we also fit out um, the microwave the cooker and the fridge area so you come in you just plug in your like, you plug in your things your fridge your microwave and your cooker we have a pantry let me just mention that it's so important until you don't have until you get a pantry i think it's when you appreciate a pantry you know before you kind of fix your monthly shopping if you do a monthly shopping or your surplus in the cabinet 
once you go pantry you never go back so we gave you that let me also talk about the break of colors so the white um cabinet the tile the backslash tile you can see it's sort of a granite look tile it's a marble look it's very it gives you some rich modern clean lines along with this nice blue now it's beautiful and it breaks the colors very well and the granite now the countertop is is a white with with a gray shimmer and a, i mean it's beautiful i like what i like what is done here i can also talk about the gold touches um the the sockets are all goldy we like the we like the gold in the home you'll notice there's a lot of brown so acetones goes very well with gold accents the room we are in is a laundry area so laundry area have a potential to be very functional of course and very messy and we thought about that these cabinets now so you put your detergents you can choose to show your detergents very well or you can choose to have them in your cabinets we have cabinets for that the towels that you will use um, to you know wipe your countertops from here you can store them very well you can have and you see we have top and bottom for that the washing um, the washing machine space is right here and we still have a bit of space so this is our laundry area the rail was thought because sometimes you have wiped your counters you have these small wet towels that you use a lot hang them there dry them and put them back in your laundry so it comes up very clean very tidy very airy as well next top for us is a visitor's bathroom so it's a powder room it has a toilet and a sink i feel like this i don't know it's giving me arabic vibes it's, it's a prism it's done very well it comes with the accessories um, the mirror as is there's a water heater and again a very thought out apartment it has storage so the toiletries for this bathroom stay in this bathroom very well so you have your toiletries here and then you can have your decor right here you can put magazines to entertain yourself you can put books you can put plants and some towels that looks a very nice detail right i thought so as well i mean i like the thought behind it yeah also you know when sometimes as when you've just visited a home and you don't know where to get your the toilet papers, you can easily get them there. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 th this is one of the things I was saying. It's a very warm apartment. It gives hotel feels and warm at the same time. So that's nice. That's always nice because then it's almost like you're having a staycation every day in your home. So, bedroom number one, it's a girl's room. It's decorated as a girl's room, but you can have it as your guest room because it's number one. It's close to the visitor's bathroom. So you can have it as a guest one it is big enough to fit two beds this is a four by six with two bedside tables and still plenty of space so the space is well partitioned you can see you, there are hanging spaces there are drawers and there are foldables the the feel is so nice you i know you can't feel them but the feel is really nice they give this grainy nice feel and the color is the atone again breaking them with a dark color is always a good idea so black hardware you'll notice the black hardware around the house with also the doors they'll have the black tone you know just to break the earthy earthy tones a bit the bathroom is quite spacious we have a shower cubicle we have the smart mirror we have the floating sink and we have the toilet So bedroom number two, also quite a spacious bedroom. This is a five by six with two bedside tables. So here we notice on the other bedroom, we had four cabinet spaces. This one has five. So one, two, three, four, five. By cabinet spaces, I mean the door. 
yeah you have an extra one here just for you yeah and you can also set up a table right here you can set up a dresser you can set up a library I, I like using library and novels a lot it's good to read or you can set up a tv let me mention that a nice tv here watch it from your bed and this can also fit two beds but now across not as as what has been done but two beds can fit so a big family loading you already have two bedrooms that can fit four beds i appreciate the spaces in these bathrooms quite spacious as well and then well arranged you have your water which will not spill to the toilet space you know how sometimes you had to look for somewhere to put your shampoos your shower gels this is a modern way now of doing it and i like that it's it's not only been included in the main in the main bathroom it's in all the bathrooms everybody gets to have some of these goodies and then there's also a sink um a floating sink there it is massive guys you can see the number of steps i've taken to get to bedroom number three it's a beautiful walkway and then at the end there's this kind of museum feel i'd say a nice museum look you can always have a big mirror here um uh, i love big mirrors and that will give you a very nice illusion from the entry when you're entering your home to the back it's 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 a beautiful space so number three bedroom number three is this lovely bedroom sort of at the corner i'd call it the corner bedroom we have a five by six with two bedside tables can it fit which is can it fit two beds yes it can very well windows huge window spaces um cabinet space beautiful cabinet spaces well partition you want to know where you'll put your handbags if you're a lady you want to know where you'll put your shoes then there's this with the drawers very well and there's the last one foldables so well thought out the light fixtures i should also mention beautiful coming with the apartment the bathroom now so we have this cubicle it again it gives you so much space let me show you it's such an adequate space for you we have the toilet and we have a floating sink yeah so all this and then we also have the shampoo space that i was talking about the shower gel shampoo space we have it at the corner right there so drum rolls i will start with this additional space you have just for your dresser so now you have a feels like you have two rooms for your main bath for your main bedroom you have your main space where you sit and sleep relax enjoy and then you have your can i call it a glam space because you have your cabinets here and then your dresser and then your bathroom we ladies like to take our time and no apologies for that yeah so we have all that space for the woman i think the man i think the husband doesn't even get this space because it's a whole dresser so he sits in the corner maybe reading something as as the wife gets ready and looks glam for the day so we have this space the dresser this comes with a home which is a smart mirror there's an l situation right here of the cabinets are well divided and then you enter your bedroom Can we talk about the space? All this. There is the overhead lighting. Let's talk about this beautiful chandelier that comes with the home. There's extra space for you to even put a couch. So the idea of this couch was to have the other corner have a television for you. So you can have you can have a couch here and then watch your TV from there. I like this storage, the Ottoman here you you know kind of sit and if you're putting on your shoes from here then it's easier we are going to show you almost like the jewel of the home which is the extra balcony so you have two balconies in your home for you who's watching you could get this and have a very good view there's an obstructed view here 
let me just mention that so that wraps up the bedrooms we have one last room we are viewing now the bathroom it is something with clean bathrooms and with a space not feeling too squeezed um not settling for less let me say that if you're buying a 25.5 million home you need to have that shower cubicle and that jacuzzi well separated and this is what has been given the space is enough for two the sanitary wear has gold touches just to match with what is around the home the sink comes with a floating sink and then it comes with all the storage i like this detail here where you can put your you can put a lot of things here your shaver your makeup you have that there's a jacuzzi and there's this space here if you're looking to have a mood candles um yeah if you're looking to have a drink from the jacuzzi you, you have a space to place your things right here you have your jacuzzi free because all that has been dealt with here we have provided this for you so it's quite a space feels very nice very airy and that comes to the end of our video um a four bedroom apartment again five bathrooms one guest room so the guest room is detached from the right so you can use this as an office or you can have that as a dsq amenities swimming pool gym library um garden children play area backup generator and um, green area in general oh and a theater yes there's a theater here and a reception for when people getting your first stop at the reception and then you can get to your to your apartment so 246 square meter 25.5 gets you all of this in lavington thank you for watching see you next time